No, I, when I say like that, I don't mean it like that. I mean like anybody where they put me against. Like I, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I don't, I don't. They, somebody just me asked pick, me. Like, like, can't pick like, uh, like me. I mean, me couldn't say, oh, I, I have to go up against this person because of that. You know, matter because at the end of the day, I do it for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. At the end of the day, you're showcasing two awesome artists. You know what I'm saying? Me cool. couldn't pick. It, it would have to be the people. In. Recent, recently, there was a live with someone that said, uh, I mean, I asked, you know, no, because this is my baby, so I don't up, and we can't keep up. I mean, I learn things as my ball on. So I don't know if you know this. But me, I like, me hear somebody kind of like say one time, how oh, they who put some tights that it, it, um, the man them can't get in a phone phone. I, I, and in my mind, I was thinking that cannot be a one that kind of that does not fall in the category of best for none. So I'm just gonna put that out there. If it's so tight that you got already mad, you need to go say somebody else because I mean, eventually he's supposed to get in. That just means saying a wet in the turn it on. Eventually, like vagina vagina is elastic. Exactly. Vagina is elastic. It's supposed to let him in a hug him though, but it's not supposed to be yeah, it's supposed to hug him, but it's not supposed to be. There you go. So me did want to know if that's a new song. Can, can, I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand how it's so tight that it can't get him and sometimes demand them. It hurt demand them so bad. That just means you're not lubricated. Yeah, you need some KY jelly. Yeah, you need some oil and then something. Else, some yoni oil and then something. Else. <laughs> <laughs> acting, acting. I heard that there were some things going on. Is that something that you can talk about? Yeah. Um. Before uh, uh, before COVID hit, I was supposed to actually start filming. So I'm a part of a series of a series that I'm supposed to come out in. That's called "For Little Girls Are Afraid to Speak" of a movie that I can't talk about though. Um. And we're actually supposed to shoot, but that kind of got pushed back. You know what I mean? Hopefully we will shoot. Hopefully at the end of the year. Who knows? But yeah, I'm happy and excited about that to be a part of something that where you have actors that act in Game of Thrones and SWATs and, you know what I mean, Spike Lee joints. You know what I mean, myself and other Jamaicans. So, I mean, it's just a, it's just a good look. It's just I'm a, even though COVID happened, it's been a good year. I can't, I can't you know what I mean? I can't, my, my brothers, you have to just give thanks. Everything give thanks and look for the blessing in everything. Absolutely. I, I agree with you. I think I'm very proud of that. I want to congratulate you on that role. I know we can't go too much into it but i think steps like this also opens doors for many other young females all over the world that want to do that and when they get to see people like yourself i mean prior to that we've had a lot of other caribbean people i'm still stuck on grace jones that's my era you know most people don't understand that she's a jamaican and she's done so much grace jones did music reggae rock and roll movies um, many, many many films Barry um, in the building. Yeah, man, yeah. So I'm, I'm really, really, really proud of the fact that you are crossing those boundaries and dotting those I's and crossing those T's and having the opportunity, um, not just for you, but it's for me, it's for you, yes, but I also see this door opening for so many other people like yourself Perfect. and so many other women that want to break into this field of acting um and i can't wait to see you on the big screen Definitely. and um, you. cheer you on we're going for we're going we're going for our award or something Woo! nominations we're gonna put that out there in the, in the atmosphere um other songs on this i know you released um on um, the best finale and that's what's happening right now but there are other songs on that catalog if you want to talk about those songs um, well earlier this year we had mana come back big up to really a team and um paul from platinum kids because all platinum kids somebody that that you know that did well also um hell of a promotion we had a big billboard in times square it was you know awesome with you know as, and again COVID happened so we never really get to take it to the way we did. You know, we did want to take it. Um, also, drop Paradise with um, Ghana and Superstar, African Superstar, um, Stone Boy. That did really, really well also in terms of numbers. You know what I mean? Again, COVID again. So those, were the, those, are, my, those are my three babies for this year. Mana Come Back, Paradise, and The Best. Yes, yes. And all three songs are hot, hot, hot music, really good songs. Just the, the embodiment of, of, of 
T I S A, just you. You know what I mean? So we're going to pull a little bit of paradise. I want people to take a listen to this for me, please. Let me set the stage. On my first trip, going somewhere, when outside open, I know outside is open in the United States, but I'm not open. I'm still closed. I'm still closed. I'm not going outside with everybody else. I'm with you, Diva. Trust yeah. me. I'm going to let everybody else go first. I'll watch what with everybody else. And then I'm going to put this song, Paradise. On my phone, I'm going to have my headphones in, my pink suitcase, my Etana shirt, and I'm going to be on the airport listening to that going to my next trip. This needs to be on your playlist for the trip. Like, you need to have this song playing when you're going to paradise. I love the song. Thank you. Love it. Love it. That, what is the concept? What is the idea? What did, what did the idea of paradise come from? You know what? Paradise was one of the songs, one of the 53 songs that I wrote for my album that didn't make it onto the initial album. And um, management was just like, okay, let's, let's turn it into a remix and, you know, put it out. And that's, that's just basically what it was. Like, there's no, no big story behind this. Just paradise. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. just pretty, just, it is what it is. I have a lot of men on my life Tiffa, and, and they want to do single free or disengage. You know, no, I'm just ask them and then they want um, to. Um, no, I'm not engaged right now. So that means you're, you're single, you don't have no man, and you're free. You're single. You're single? <laughs> you're, oh gosh. Single life nice though. <laughs> life sweet. <laughs> life sweet. You can do what you want, do what you want, sell what you want, do what you want. You know, for worry about nobody, no responsibility, no but being single is is nice. I like I loved when I was single. I'm enjoying my mind right now, but that's a whole other story. But I, I like I like that. I like I like being I have a lot of Instagram husbands. Instead, so you get a lot of DMs. Do you get a lot of oh, let me ask oh you, my you my person for me artists? Do you get dick pics in your DMs? Yes, I do. What are them tips? Tip I want to name. No, I hate dick. It's like, it's like, that's like a big turn off for me, though. The dick pics. Yeah, and then some of them come and they're ashy. Like, why do you guys send ashy? Yeah, some of them ugly. Like, I hate that's, that's a thing for me. Like, if your penis ugly, we're not getting that. I hate ugly penises. Penis are pretty. That makes sense? Yeah, and then your foot, like, some of them take the picture, but they foot in a way and they foot crusty. And yeah, I think the big foot tool. Like, like y'all don't take time, like, think low, put some lotion. Nah, the funniest. The funniest thing I had last week was um, this guy, I think he's African or something, he offered me like 250 goats. <laughs> Wait, where are you going to do 200? Where are you going to do trade off? Like, you know, it would give me goats and land, like, you know, for David or some crap. I didn't know what it was, but I, you know, I was rolling when I saw it. <laughs> and, 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 and best believe, and girls hitting up in my DMs also. Both men. 200. And Wait, well, girl, well, well, I mean, in the, in, the, in the situation that we live now in this world where everybody is mixed in whatever they feel like and, and however they feel like, I, I think, yeah, I think girls would be in the DM too. It's crazy. What, the goats? The money, the goats in here. Yeah. So wait, in the African becoming you know, they like the goat. I think so. I had like one picture of somebody, I don't know if it was like, you know what I mean? We couldn't tell, but it looked it, it like him, yeah. So I was just like, yo, this is funny. This is for good. <laughs> so 250 good. How did I get them to? They don't even think about what they say, how they say it. They just want to get your attention. I just think it's funny. I think DMs are the, a, a thing now. And I'm starting to understand what it is. When people get in your DMs and they send you all kinds of stuff and ask you all kinds of weird questions. And then sometimes I'm like, should I block them? Should I not block them? Because if I block them, then that means that I've acknowledged that they, exactly. And I've had people that have blocked, that have created fake accounts to send me messages. It's really, really weird. Some real stuff. Really weird shit. Yeah. Listen, hope, hope, hope the DJ God said that he loves you. I love you yeah. too. And then the Barrow. Dempsey Barrow wants to know if he can be the lucky guy. Dempsey, there's a there's a whole laundry list of qualifications um, to be the lucky guy. And I don't know if that's going to be considered lucky. 
if we are locked down like any longer, I might just start like a quarantine dating show or something. Like, <laughs> I think that would be nice. Right, I have I a virtual. I have a nice like a virtual date. That would be so dope. Yeah, you you bring you bring yourself and your fine ass, and then the, they come to the date, and you have like a virtual date. The two of you are on a date, and we can see it. I think yeah. that would be crazy. I got it. Tip of finds love. Love in COVID. <laughs> she said love in COVID. Oh, also guys, um I've been having some issues with the artwork. There have been people for the best. There have been people like reporting it and flagging it on social media and on some of the streaming platforms. So I might have to release another artwork for next week. You're talking about the light switch? Yeah. People find it offensive. So it's been affecting some of my numbers on, on some, not all. You know what I mean? And people have been reporting it so and flagging it. So, yeah. That, you know what? That's the people that don't have the best phone phone. Probably not. Yeah, the, those, are the, <laughs> those are the people where they dry up boom boom, they flower boom boom, boom they powder boom boom, they... Boom, boom. I'm That's over here. I'm over here right now. <laughs> <laughs> because let's, let's be honest. Embracing femininity and feminine power has a lot to do with our intimacy. And it's okay for us to talk about. We have here on this, on, on this very platform that we are, platforms where women are actually having babies and you can actually see them having these babies and that's okay but a portrait of something that that is the idea of it because you can't even you have to be and you have to be not too eclectic but in order for you to even figure it out yeah. you know that's what it is but it's not that graphic i don't see what the i don't see what the problem is i think you just, <laughs> they're having issues man they're having some serious issues so Look out for I'll announce it on my Instagram. Look out for a new artwork. You know what I mean? Because we don't want us to affect with numbers or whatever. Because the song is doing really exceptionally well on some platforms, but on some it's suffering because it's being flagged every minute. You know what I mean? So, we're going to fix that. And yeah, I, and then I'm, worried, I'm sure whatever the artwork is going to be or whatever you have coming out is going to be just as good as the first one, and everybody else is going to, to um, um, enjoy that. Um, I like to tell everybody that's on here um, what I push most for the artists that come on my show is that in order for them to continue giving us the, this art and this music that we love continue my brother continue yeah so in order for us to continue to support them we have to at least download their music um, and that's something I want our people, when I say our people, I mean people like me and people from the Caribbean to get in the habit of doing, um, instead of bootlegging the music or getting it from other sources or somebody selling it to you or whatever, support your artists. If you love the artist so much, support the artist by downloading um, their songs from all platforms, Spotify, Google Play, Apple, um, Whatever platform you prefer, it does help the artist to, to be able to put out more music. Um, and I, I'd love to see that. I love to see our artists getting nominated for awards. And this is how they also get nominated for awards, is by us buying their music um, and downloading their music um, and playing their music. So if you guys haven't downloaded this song, with someone, and I'm in a care, I'm going to play it again. Abby, I love you. Stay blessed. Um, so I want to play the song again. I love this song. And if you haven't downloaded Best Panani, do me. My Instagram is right at the top left-hand corner of the screen. It's at It's The Tifa. I-T-S-T-H-E-T-I-F-A. And that's my social media handle across all platforms. So that's It's The Tifa for Twitter. It's The Tifa for Instagram. It's The Tifa for Facebook. And if any of you guys can go ahead and follow her, I am Jessie Nicole. You were asking a question about the, the song. Bless um, yes, that's where you can find all that information. I think the link might be in your bio, right? Yeah, Tifa? the link to the song is on all platforms. The link to the song is in my bio, so you can go stream by, do what you need to do. So click the link in my bio for the best. All right. So you guys, if you haven't downloaded that, um, I Jessie Nicole, I Jessie Nicole, I hope you got that information. I hope you go ahead and click that button. 
make it green. And I hope you all are one of those people that go ahead and download that song um, for us. And um, support, support is important for our artists. We love supporting our artists. That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that they we acknowledge their hard work and the work that they put into um you know giving us this good feel good music how long did it take what did you say Tifa? no i said jesse thank you okay um how long did it take you to write this song it doesn't usually mm -hmm. take me um a long time to write the song um usually when i get the beat as long as i like the beat it comes it comes quick, so it wasn't it wasn't like a long process. We got to London because London was there. London music, he was there um, during the process of writing the song. Um, you know, he he helped me co-write um, a part of it. So we got to London. Um, it wasn't it didn't take long because I had the idea in my head. As I said, I really just wanted to do one of them like my my back pum pum song. So yeah, then I think we need. I think especially now we needed that feel good type of vibe a song that you can really dance to get you feel the bass in it that kind of that kind of music you really needed mm -hmm. that at this time this whole quarantine thing and i know you said you've been working out and writing and 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 doing whatever it is that you need to do to make yourself accessible and continue to work how has it affected you in any other way um no no i don't think so i think that for me what i find is that I'm able to, I'm somebody that likes home anyway. So being home is not a bad thing for me. I'm okay being stuck in my house because I like my house. Um, but I hear people complaining about not being able to do things or not being able to go out and stuff like that. I just think that it's a different time. And now that you get a chance to introspect and spend time with yourself, it's hard for a lot of people to go into themselves. That's and exactly what it is. I, and I must tell you, I, I think I tweeted this like probably two two days ago. Like just being still, like I'm always on the move. So just being able to be still, like a lot of things came back to me during this quarantine, like good and bad, like memories, good and bad situation. And I, I'm the type of person where, okay, something happens now. And I might be upset about it for two minutes and then I'm good. Or I might be happy about it for two minutes and then it's back to work. I've actually had to deal with my emotions in this quarantine. I've actually, for the first time, not push back things in the subconscious. And I think because I've been pushing back things for so long into the back of my brain, like everything just came at me. And I've had to deal with both the negative and positive things for a long time. And I think that's what it is because you're, you're still you you have to be still you you have to spend time with you yeah and i think that, that i think that's one of the hardest things for people to understand that this is not a punishment this covid thing is not a punishment yes it's hard to deal with but we also get the time to introspect and learn and understand who the center our core is and and also heal heal a lot of the things that have been that make you a person. Um, mm -hmm. I heard somebody say last week, um, is there anything that you would change in your life or forget in your life that would make you know? I think what I've learned during this quarantine is that um, I meditated before, I've always meditated, but now meditating is a little bit different because what I find is that I have more time to do it, it's longer. And so even memories that were suppressed, sometimes, like you were saying, pop back in your head and you're like, what? I want to do that? It's crazy. So you get time to heal. Definitely. But other than that, I'm one of the friends, like um, my, my good friend Max Blazer the other day was just like, yo, you are one of the people that I'm not worried about because when you're not working your home, like I'm not worried about you. Like you're always in quarantine. You know, you're not working. Like, <laughs> So, I mean, it, it hasn't been like, I started doing some things that I used to draw back in high school. At one point, I wanted to become an architect, and I ended up buying a sketch pad and started doing sketches again and started drawing again and just started, like, being Tifa. Not even Tifa, being Latifa. You know what I mean? It brought me back to that place where I found Latifa again, because sometimes you, sometimes you get caught up between, me not so much, but sometimes you do get caught up between the persona and the person. You know what I mean? And I, I think this quarantine has brought me back to, like fully back down to earth, like, and fully to vision, like, full vision. You know, to, 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 to have perspective, but also retrospect yes. as well. 
Um, Kenya in the building. Big up Kenya. All the way from Kenya. Yes, man. Yes, man. Big up yourself, Kenya. Um, Tifa, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for your contribution, your timeless efforts. Um, I don't think we say this enough as black women. I don't think we um, give each other um, enough love and enough accolades and enough upliftment. And today, as your elder, um, I want to uplift you. I want to give you your accolades. I want to tell you that your work and your tireless efforts to continue on a positive light, which is difficult now in these days, and to spread light and joy and your laugh. Every time you laugh, laugh, a laugh. Whether it's funny or not, if you laugh, I'm laughing. Whether it's in recording, whether it's on a live, whatever. Um, you have an infectious laugh, and I think um, that's, that's one of my favorite things about you. And I just want to big you up and, and um, tell you that you're doing an amazing, an amazing, amazing job. And keep up the good work. Um, Thank you so much, Diva. And you're quite welcome. And I love you. And for those of you that are on here today, if you are not following Tifa, you're missing out on a lot. Not just good music, but you're missing out on good vibes. You're missing out on love. You're missing out on la um, lights. So, so be sure you click her button, follow her, download one of her songs, anyone. It does, whichever one you love. I love. I just love all of them, so I have them on my catalog. But I encourage you to support her and, and, and do the same. I'm going to play one song before we leave for you, Tifa. Again, thank you for being on. Thanks for having me, Diva, and the Island Rhythms team. Mwah. Love you, too. Mwah. You take care.